Hey, what's up DIYers? Mike Borst with the Mike Borst channel. Thank you for watching. We are talking Toyota Camrys today. In today's video, a short, simple, step-by-step -step process on how to properly and safely replace your alternator. Let's get started. DIYers, here we are at the car. I have pushed it inside the garage where we will begin our project. With the hood open, step number one, we are going to disconnect the negative terminal to your battery. Cut all electrical power as we work through this project and make sure that the cable itself is positioned where it will not make contact with the battery lead during the project. Inside the car now, next, set your parking brake. I will chalk both the rear tires to the passenger rear. With those two parts removed, we are going to direct our attention to the alternator. I'm going to carefully move the camera. And this plastic cover right here, I like to come on the back side here and just carefully pull it off. Do not break this and do not lose this. Underneath that cover, you have a 10 millimeter nut. Go ahead and loosen and remove that. Do not drop this inside the engine. That would be tough to find. What I recommend, remove this connection and immediately put the nut back on the threaded stud of the alternator, as shown there. Next to this plastic mount that secures the wire harness to the brace of the alternator, go ahead and pull up very carefully because this is a very thin piece of plastic. You do not want to break it. Again, go in, pull up, and slide that off. As well as right here, go ahead and pinch in and remove this connection and just push down on the top part and it will lift the plastic locking clip. And set that aside. To a different camera angle and coming in you have a 12 millimeter bolt there we are going to loosen that and on the alternator itself this bracket right here is the tension bracket you can see that slot inside this mount here and that allows you to move your alternator once you loosen up that bolt to loosen up your belt so you can remove it and i'm gonna need a new belt i will first start with the 12 millimeter bolt you do not actually have to remove this bolt fully at this time just loosen it Next, the 14 millimeter bolt, as shown here, and I'm using this long breaker bar to give me better leverage. With a loose, I can now transition back to the smaller ratchet and socket. With those two bolts loosened, I will now loosen this 12 millimeter bolt. With all three bolts loosened up, we can now push down on our alternator and release the tension on the belt. And this is our serpentine belt, and we can carefully remove this, as shown here. There it is. I will now continue removing the hardware, starting with the lower 12 millimeter bolt. And once you remove that bolt from the alternator, you can carefully shift the tension bracket down. Next, fully remove the upper 14 millimeter bolt. And that's a long bolt, maybe three to four inches. In most cases, you will need a pry bar or a screwdriver to remove the alternator from the bracket. If a small screwdriver does not work, you'll need a larger breaker bar. There it is, the OIRs. The alternator is removed. Do not drop it, it is heavy. And here's the brand new alternator in the box. We also purchased a brand new serpentine belt to a different camera angle and here is the bracket again that the alternator is going to go into and before you slide the alternator in you have this circular insert on the left portion of the bracket and you want the inner portion to be flush with the inner portion of the bracket if yours has shifted inward just go ahead and grab an extension and carefully tap it until it is flush again with the inner portion here that will allow you to shift your alternator in with no issues be careful as you do this the alternator is a little bit heavy as you can see, it slid right in, grab the 14 millimeter bolt, and it should slide right through the hole. You may need to wiggle the alternator and match the thread on the back side or opposite side and hand tighten it only. Do not tighten this yet. And again, as you tighten that 14 millimeter bolt by hand, you can move the alternator, which will allow you to align the thread of the bolt to the opposite side. From here, 14 millimeter ratchet and socket and continue tightening it. Again, not all the way. We still want that play. At this point again, our alternator is adjustable, as you see here. It is now time to secure this bracket here, and on the back side, again, you've got this adjustment block and the 12 millimeter bolt that goes through it. 
and I will feed that through. And at the same time, I will lift this up. You can see the bolt coming through right there. I'll lift the alternator up and align the thread with the bolt. Do not cross thread it and hand tighten it. From here, use the 12 millimeter ratchet and socket. Again, do not tighten it all the way. Now that we have the 14 millimeter bolt up top screwed in, but not tight, as well as the 12 millimeter adjustment block bolt, again, not tight. We need to follow this bracket all the way down where it has that 12 millimeter bolt. Go ahead and tighten that all the way. And a close up of how we have this all positioned and configured. Again, not tight. We can still adjust the alternator. And this is what we'll adjust to add tension to the belt after we install it. And here is our brand new serpentine belt. Back to the engine again, there's the brand new serpentine belt. The way this is going to go on, we will loop the belt up and over the alternator last. However, we will loop it down and around the harmonic balancer and then underneath the AC compressor pulley as shown there. And as you shift this belt down into place, do your best not to damage it. Again, it goes down and around the harmonic balancer as well as down and under and around the AC compressor pulley. Back up top and holding tension on the belt so it does not fall off or come out of the slots on the two pulleys below. And an important step, in the event that you cannot get this belt on or up and over the alternator pulley, continue to hold that pressure or tension on the belt. Use your 12 millimeter socket and ratchet and screw this bolt counterclockwise. And what that will do is it will shift the alternator further down on the adjustment block and slot on this outer bracket and continue doing that until you have the clearance to pull the belt up and over and onto the alternator pulley. Do not damage the belt as you install it. Next, double check everything before you secure it. Again, it needs to be in the grooves on each pulley as shown there. Back up top and as you can see right here the belt is still loose, the alternator is loose. However, we are going to apply the tension to the belt by turning this 12 millimeter bolt on the upper bracket clockwise. And go slow. Do not over tighten this but you want it snug to a point where the belt's not gonna fly off while the engine is running. And as you turn this clockwise, the adjustment block that has the bolt through this portion of the alternator begins to shift upward. And again, apply the tension to the belt. And it's getting tighter. Once you got a good amount of tension on the belt, again, without over tightening it, shift to the adjustment block 12 millimeter bolt and tighten that in place. After that, come up top and secure that 14 millimeter bolt on the top portion of the alternator and bracket. After you secure the belt, again, there should be just a little bit of play as you can see here. But again, you don't want it too loose where it comes off, but you don't want it too tight where it could possibly snap when the engine's running. That would not be good. Again, there's the little bit of play in the belt. Before moving on, back to the old alternator, we need to remove this bracket here, an eight millimeter nut. Go ahead and remove that, pull this bracket off. We need to install it on the brand new alternator. As you can see here, again, this came off the old alternator and removed it with an eight millimeter nut. And we had to remove the new eight millimeter nut, slide that off, slide the bracket onto the new alternator and secure it with that eight millimeter nut. And that is how it is supposed to be positioned. Next, carefully without dropping this in the engine, remove the upper 10 millimeter nut and washer, set that aside and time to bring your harness back up. And first we will secure this connection point, push in until it clicks and locks in place and then cover it with the rubber boot. Next, your power lead, and re-secure the 10 millimeter nut. And before you secure that all the way, this plastic fitting here slides right on the mount we just installed, push in until it clicks. And it's shown there, and that is on there. And now we will tighten down the wiring. And I'll kind of pull it just a little bit away from the heat shield of the engine. Last but not least, the plastic cover that goes over the power lead and carefully position the wires in the little slots and secure it until it is on and locked in place. Go ahead and re-secure your black negative cable to the battery terminal. Time to start the engine.
right back at DIYers. We really hope this helped. Thank you for watching. From here, we are going to take it for a test drive, and if all goes well, we are good to go. The hours back from our test drive all went well. We are very happy and satisfied. Again, we hope this helped. Do us a favor below the video. You will see that thumbs up icon. Click on that, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Definitely ring your YouTube bell. That would be very helpful to us. We'd really appreciate it. Thanks again for watching.